Okay, and this really this Toyota Prius cars, engines and gearbox removal, it is good to take out in this area and that's we have to take away this all electric components in here far away and, and we really disassemble this full all of these parts away in that area next. Next part is this radiator, AC compressors and inner radiators removal. And their up area, there is steel bar, there is 10 mm bolts and we open all of these bolts and we remove this, firstly this upper part in here and let's go to open these bolts. Okay, and 10 mm socket, firstly this upper one. First bolt, second in here. Toyota's bolts opens nicely. And now this, and then we go in this another side area. Go in that area, and there is also bolts. And then in this lock, lock space area. Bonnet and hood lock. That one and then in here below. Cool. Now lock is free. Excellent. Okay, a note. Now I have take away this central bar and this bolts in here and then this upper steel frame I have to take that away but there is one steel bar where is one bolt and now I have to lift this little bit in up this area because this engine's hybrid element in here that one it takes contact in here and now, uh, now I have to little bit lift up this part that I can remove this thing and, and I need some support thing because now this steel bar compress I can take these bolts in this down area away but I like to remove this my steel bar and it's almost almost goes away and if I have friend friend can lift up that because now this is like stuck because of this thing okay but let's look at what I do okay and now I have in here extra arm and it lift up little bit this up and then I can take this upper steel bar Away. Excellent. And then I can release this my good. This is nice. And now carefully. Excellent. Okay, and next part is then that we take this radiator and also this air condition radiator cooler this part away and now there is risk that if we have any this air condition compressor gas inside in these two hoses and this element when we open these two 10 millimeter bolts there is big risk that this high pressure AC compression fluid gas sprays to our face and that's we have to use now this protective head sealed. This protects when we install that in our head because now there is really risk that even as I mentioned and I told in first step that we have to take all of these 
air condition gases away in special service shop in USA and Europe. Because we can of course purchase this uh, AC compressor gas, this installation and removal, the special tools, but they are really expensive. And that's it is always good to visit in a special service shop what can what ovens this air condition systems service tools. And now I have visited in there and I believe that when I open that my bolt that there is no any gas in inside in here. But let's check what is situation. And I take 10 millimeter bolt and now I install this my shield in my head and there is my socket and now I open this bone connector. Carefully I open and then I check that I that is there any gas. This bolt is like not totally open, I open more and then I take screwdriver these are risky situations yeah, and I carefully I bend that in a way and be really carefully because it is it is not, it is horrible. Okay. Yes, there was real this pressure in inside, but only, only like little bit air pressure. And if this system would be the full, there was so much green spray that all of this area will be totally green spray vapors. But now there was, was only a little bit pressure in here and this is okay. And then I opened this pillow. There is also similar ball. Let's open also that one in here and also in here. Okay, here is not much pressure and there was also the special bolt. And now I can take this. These are really sensitive cables and handle this carefully because there is special there is special gasket in here in inner area so handle these parts carefully because if there is any leak in those later then we have trouble troubles in uh, our air condition systems but now these bolt cables they are loosened and we can go to open these upper areas radiator coolant these hoses. And this radiator removal, first step is that we open the steel clamp and carefully we remove that in here outer. And next part is that there is electric connector in here. What we need to open, really this connector and I need to press that side and pull out this cable. It is like fan electric cable. Okay, and there was really that I have to press this central area and now this connector that side and then these parts opens. This can be tight. And then I can carefully start to lift up this radiator in this steel areas and idea is that I lift up 
this in that way. And, and now it moves and, and then we go to open these pillow areas, these coolant hoses. Yeah, now we are pillow of oil sump and first step is this electric temp sensor in here that part removal and there is situation that I have to press this central area in my finger and then little bit pull out this back and this seems to be now it opens excellent now this connector is free and after that we open couple of coolant hoses now we can see that there is this gear box and there goes this gear box coolant hoses in this radiator and we have to open that one in here this one what connection point is in this there's one two three cables and th this one in here up I take this coolant hose away next okay and now this coolant hose is away that one a note that when I open open that coolant hose then this drain this coolant liquid in that hole it start to immediately drain out and be ready that this coolant can drain all time when we open these hoses that they don't drain in your face because it is really really bad situation like in here there's all time now this transmission coolant liquid going out and this is really hybrid cars things that we have this cooling system also in our radiator okay and then radiator removal continues and please take this transmission coolant canisters cap hat away that this coolant drains out and we can as we can hear the sound and then there is two coolant hoses what we need to open and mark in here in some way that up because there are two cables first in up and then second in here down and I have already open these clamps and we can take this steel bar there is with one 10 millimeter bolt that we have space okay and now these two cables are free excellent and we go to look next part in this radiator array note that there is now all time in some area or some hose leaking coolant liquid and that's we need these canisters in their down at least three pieces and now I have already a little bit move that my radiator away and there is one cable in this back area electric cable what we have to disconnect okay and in here we have second similar fan connector what I have open first one in up and second in down and now we can see that this radiator moves quite nicely in that way and now I move that little bit far away in here and next we have next hose in another side Okay, and then we have one hose in here back area and let's go to look that area closer okay and in here in this back area there is one coolant hose that one and there is clamp that we can open that in engine area or then in this side area in here and now I try to open that in here oh, this is a little bit difficult position difficult place 
and let's see that how I manage to open that and this part is good to open carefully because otherwise we can damage this our radiator and there is really this hose is really in that one coolant hose to radiator to engine and now I think that there is this opening area and in this one in here and I work a little bit with this steel clamp in here and I have to take that one in away in here and let's look soon that what I have managed to do in this area that clamp and then this holds away okay and now really when I opened that hose now it's free this coolant hose then this my radiator opens and it is now in here ground okay and now we can see that one one coolant liquid is now again drying in here there is really much this coolant in this Toyota Prius car in engine and gearbox and they continue